Sam Burns is one of the best putters in the world. He routinely ranks top 10 or even top 5 in strokes gained putting, and he also routinely ranks top 5 in one putt percentage, three putt avoidance, and average distance of putts made. So let's talk about Sam Burns putting stroke and what you can learn from it in order to become a better putter yourself. The first thing I want to address, and it's something that Sam Burns has actually put a lot of focus on in his own game, is the general concept of speed control. Speed control is one of, if not the most important aspect of your putting. You can have a pretty good read on your line, have a good idea of the break of the putt, but if you can't match the speed to it, then you're probably not gonna make the putt despite reading it correctly. So one thing that Sam Sam Burns has spoken about in interviews and instructional sessions is how important it is to dial in your speed control. A great way to do this is by putting an alignment rod just a foot or two past the hole and putting it towards the hole and if you make it great but if not you want that ball to go past the hole so maybe hit a couple of those putts from 5 feet, 10 feet, 15 feet and just work on your feel and work on your speed control. Now let's talk about three particular things that Sam Burns does in his own putting stroke that I think everybody can learn from. Number one is his head positioning and his ability to keep his head down. I know that I've spoken about how keeping your head down in the full swing, uh, you know, with driver and irons can actually be detrimental to your mechanics. I stand by that. However, when you're putting, you definitely want to keep that head down. And as you can see in these videos, Sam Burns usually strikes the ball and that ball will go a foot or two. And after that ball has traveled that distance, then he will look up. But in keeping his head down during the impact position, he's basically locking in his upper body to stay in one spot, which makes his stroke and his striking much more consistent. If you pick your head up right before or even at the impact position with putter, it's pretty subconscious and very slight, but your shoulders may actually move with the rest of your body, and that movement will really provide a lot of inconsistencies in your striking. So even if you have to exaggerate it some people like to hit the putt and then in their head count one two and then look up that's definitely something to try if you've looked at your own putting stroke and you know right now that you're not keeping that head down at and just past impact then that's a great place to improve your mechanics the next aspect of Burns putting stroke that I love is how simple it is with his shoulder rock. You will not see any hand or wrist action throughout the swing. It seems as though the stroke runs entirely through the rocking of the shoulders. That upper body stays connected beautifully and if it's just the shoulders rocking in a nice smooth pendulum, then the club face is going to stay very consistent and it's going to stay straight on because when you get the wrists involved and you get your hands a little bit active, you open up those wrists a little bit, then the club face opens up even if it's just a fraction of a degree that will absolutely impact your putts as you will push them to the right for a right-handed golfer so making sure that your putting stroke feels like it's running through the upper body and not that you're just kind of flimsily wailing at it with your hands and wrists that is a great way to improve your quality of strike as well as just generally see a lot of consistency in your stroke and this is especially important with lag putts as i said earlier speed control is very important important. The only way that you can get consistent speed control is by getting consistent ball striking and by rocking the shoulders and having the upper body connection create that putting stroke. It's a great way to do it. Finally, let's talk about Sam Burns putting stroke rhythm or his tempo. In all of these videos, it seems like the speed at which he takes that putter back is the exact same speed as which he takes the putter through. This one-to-one -one tempo is really, really good for anyone who tends to get a little bit rushed. If you want to get through the ball a little bit faster than you take the putter away that's fine but the issue that we'll often see with someone who swings the putter through much faster than they take it away is that they'll often lose the path and the arc of the putter just because it's kind of an unnatural movement so if you're not too happy with the way that you're stroking that your putter in terms of the stroke path then having a one-to-one -one tempo just like burns has here is a great way to do so now whenever you want to work on rhythm whenever you want to work on on tempo my initial advice would always be to record yourself in this case hitting you know maybe five seven foot putts but do it without any slow motion just have it in real time 
and count it on the screen when you're watching it back. One, two, one, two. And that's a great way to just analyze where you're at with your own tempo. And as you continue to make improvements with your putting stroke, you'll be able to reference those videos to see exactly what the improvements have been. So it's a great way to keep tabs on your stroke. So in summation, we got to be focusing on our speed control. Keep that head down through impact just a little bit after impact. We want to have the putting stroke be controlled by the rocking of the shoulders and kind of eliminate a lot of hand and wrist motion and work on the tempo of your putting stroke and be conscious of the rhythm on the putting greens. I hope you learned a thing or two about how to improve your putting stroke from Sam Burns, one of the best in the game on the greens. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. As always, thank you all very much for watching. Play well and take care.